Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on my word of the year page and in years past I would usually do something that was a little more um, like a whole page. I'm trying a dashboard this year and right now I'm just figuring out what letters I'm going to use, um, what color I should say. Um, I know it's going to say word of 2022. So I kind of went with a dashboard so that I can move it from month to month because I found when I keep it in a certain spot in my planner, it just never gets looked at. So I'm hoping that if I use it as more of a, a little dashboard that kind of marks the month, I'll be looking at it a little bit more. Around Black Friday, uh, Coffee Planner Mom had a sale, um, and for her Black Friday, she would letter your name. Um, but I already had my name lettered in my planner from her because, well, I was using an 18-month planner. So I asked if she would write my word of the year, which is sharpen. Look at me using washi tape. This is some um, very old Michael's washi. <laughs> I don't even think you can find it anymore. Um, I got it from like their dollar bin area when I first started planning like five years ago. And then this washi is from Creating Co. So my word of the year is sharpen, and I picked that because my focus is to do things that are going to sharpen my mind, body, heart, and spirit. Um, it's habit number seven in the seven habits. Uh, going back to a favorite thing of mine to do, cutting the boxes. These are square boxes from Coffee Planner Mom. So it's always kind of fun to make some geometric patterns out of this. So in these fun boxes, all I'm gonna do is put things to remind me of ways I can sharpen the saw this year or put gas in the car. I've heard it stated both ways. Um, so working out, journaling, reading. Um, I'm using kind of a variety of stickers here. I've got the journaling sticker book. I've got some more stickers from Coffee Planner Mom. So I just wanted to make sure I put, these are just reminders. 
not necessarily have tos. I do have some goals, like making reading a better habit this year. Um, right now, for this first three months of 22, still sounds weird to say that, um, working out four times a week because that's really what I can commit to and knowing what I can commit to that's really important my pink zebra business is something I'd like to see flourish or grow in a different way so that's what these little boxes are doing just kind of giving me little reminders and then on the back, I'm just going to add my mission statement. I really didn't change it from last year. Um, I maybe added one or two sentences to go along with sharpening the saw. But I'm not making... Last year I did like four pages for my word of the year. This year I'm keeping it much simpler. So just taking my mission statement, gluing it to the back, making sure I take time, if not daily, at least weekly, to take a look at it. So... If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what your word of the year is or maybe what your goals are, whatever you do in the new year. And make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.